Hey everyone, Dr. Cervone here with Cumberland Chiropractic and Sports Medicine. This month we're talking all about problems with Little League baseball players, Little League softball players, whether that's shoulder pain, elbow pain, whatever you got going on, this is Little League month. This video in particular though, we're going to be talking about shoulder pain or something we call Little League shoulder. So we're going to be talking about what it is, how we treat it in our office, and what we do to prevent this stuff from coming back. So stick around. So we're talking about little league shoulder today. What is the definition of little league shoulder? Simply, it's just too much stress, abnormal stress on the shoulder of someone that's throwing a lot as a kid. So that could be a baseball pitcher, a quarterback, a softball player, anyone that's just doing a lot of throwing that's putting a lot of extra stress at the shoulder. So what we're looking for, and when we see it in our office, is we're usually seeing muscle strains, nerve entrapments, uh, joint dysfunction in that shoulder, maybe even in the cervical spine or the low back that's contributing to this, but long term this can become a bigger problem. So I'm going to kind of show you two pictures here. On this side we have what a normal shoulder would look like in a teen. And on this side we see what happens long term with little league shoulder. We can actually put so much stress on the shoulder that it will fracture the growth plate there and that bone will separate from the end where that bone is growing. So there are three main things we'd like to do in our office to prevent this little league shoulder from developing into that bad fracture we just saw. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the little league pitching guidelines. We're gonna put a link in the description of this video that will show you those pitching guidelines. It's a pitch count, how many pitches they should be throwing in a day and how much rest they need after throwing that many pitches. That's gonna make sure we're not overworking the shoulder and leading us down that bad path. The second thing we're going to do is stuff we do every single day in this office and that's treat muscle and nerve pain. That's where a lot of this pain is coming from is this overworked tissue at the shoulder that's starting to lead to some wear and tear scar tissue buildup in there and that might mean muscle adhesions, nerve entrapments, uh, joint dysfunction in the shoulder. That's stuff we treat every single day in here. Okay, the last thing we're focused on is pitching mechanics. So really it comes down to two main things. Do I have the ability to do something? and can I do it with the appropriate timing? So when I'm talking about ability to do something, what are the two key things I'm looking for? Can I stabilize my core? Can I create enough intra-abdominal pressure here to create almost like a spring action? So when I go to pitch, I wanna think of this as a coiled up spring. As I come back, that's what's going to propel me to throw that pitch forward. This is where all my power comes from, is here in my hips. Do I have the ability to stabilize the shoulder blade? So as I'm back, I can keep that shoulder locked down and keep it from kind of flopping around in bad positions that puts bad stress on that shoulder. The second thing, it comes down to timing. So when I go to throw a pitch, I have my stability now, and I go to step, the timing should be hips are facing the plate, and I am back in this coiled up position. If the timing is off, and I am coming forward with the trunk before I land and my hips are facing forward, that means I compensate. I use my chest and shoulders to open up more. Now I got a bad shoulder position. I've lost that stability, that ability to stabilize the shoulder and stabilize my trunk. I'm predisposing myself to injuries here. The cool thing about this is once we get this down, yes, it prevents injuries, but it also increases performance. Now I got a good spring here that's gonna speed up my pitch. This is the same mechanism for when I'm swinging too. I gotta bring it back and explode through the ball. So now we're looking at performance enhancement as well. All right, to sum up real quick, our three big things for Little League shoulder. One, proper rest and following our Little League pitch count guidelines. We put that link in the description, so make sure you check that out. The second thing is if you've got some pain coming on already, come on in, let us check it out. We wanna make sure that we're not leading down that worst case scenario path towards that fracture in the shoulder. So that's what we do here. We're experts at treating muscle, nerve, and joint pain all over the body, not just in the spine. The third thing is looking at our pitch mechanics and our swing mechanics, making sure the shoulder, the spine, everything's in a good position and we're not overstressing any particular tissues. So if you got anything coming on, any worries, give us a call, come on in, let us check this out. This has been Dr. Cervone with Cumberland Chiropractic and Sports Medicine, where we get you better faster.